Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful decorative lantern. Most of the materials I used to complete the project came from Dollar Tree, with the exception of one which came from Walmart. This is a great decorative piece to have. You can easily switch out what's inside for any season or holiday. Let me show you how to make it. You're going to need 12 of the large craft sticks that you can get from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need two of these beautiful photo frames that you can get from Dollar Tree. They hold a four by six and they are shaped like a house and they are a faux wood finish. Here is the SKU number for these photo frames. Now from Walmart, you're going to need a one of these wood panels. They come in a package of three, and this one is a six by six, and a, they cost $4.97 for a package of three. And here is the SKU number for these. You're also going to need some white paint. Uh, you can either use chalk paint or you can use uh, acrylic paint. I will be using the Apple Barrel white paint. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take apart your photo frame. You want to remove the back and everything that's inside. We're going to be using just the frame and the glass. Once you get everything out, you also want to remove these little prongs that hold everything in in the back. I just use my wire cutters and gently pull them out. You want to be careful because this is not real wood. And if you pull too hard or in the wrong direction, you pull up too much, it will break part of the frame. So just be cautious of that when you're removing it. So like I said, we just need the frame and the glass. Now on your base and your craft sticks, you wanna go ahead and give it a good coat of white paint. Now we're gonna be using this as our base facing up like this. So you wanna make sure that you paint the top and the sides. You do not need to paint the bottom. You won't be seeing that. And then you only need to paint one side of your craft sticks. I have my base painted and as you can see I did not paint the bottom. I got my craft sticks painted and I only painted one side. And then I decided that I'm going to put feet on this. So I have these large wood beads. They measure at about half inch in diameter. So I went ahead and painted four of those white. And I took apart my two photo frames. So I have my pane of glass and my photo frame and I removed all of the prongs. So the first thing that we're gonna do is hot glue the glass into place. If you leave the prongs, you'll be able to see them through the glass. So that's why you need to remove them. Take your hot glue gun and just run a bead of hot glue all the way around the edge to secure the glass. You'll want to do this to both photo frames. I have both panes of glass glued in and I went all the way around the edges and I went around twice to make sure that I got every little bit but I made sure I it, you can't see it from the front but they're nice and secure. Now we're going to add some feet to our base. I'm going to use a little bit of the super glue wood glue you can get from Dollar Tree. And of course, hot glue. Now the end that I'm going to glue, I'm going to sandpaper just a little bit. 
hot glue doesn't like to stick to freshly painted surfaces too well. At least uh, the hot glue I use doesn't. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that paint off right where I'm going to glue it down. And add a little bit of the wood glue. And some hot glue. And then place one in each corner. Just like that. I have all four feet on. I think that looks really cute and it's nice and sturdy. Now we're going to start to attach our picture frames. Again, we're going to use some of the wood glue and some hot glue. Now the side that you glued the frame in, you want that facing inside. You want the nice side facing out. And then this frame is just slightly smaller than your base. So you just want to center it the best that you can. And then you're going to glue it into place. And you want it to be flush with the outside. It doesn't have to be flush on the inside, but you want it flush on the outside. Okay, so add some wood glue and some hot glue. In the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used to complete the project. You just have to hold it in place for a little bit until that hot glue can set and hold it. have any hot glue that comes out I always just use my wire cutters that way I can get a good grip and just pull it off okay so we're then go ahead and glue your other frame on the other side now your picture frames are still not going to be really set until the wood glue sets so be careful while you work with it we're now going to attach our large craft stick And again, I'm going to use just a little bit of wood glue and hot glue. If you enjoy craft tutorials and learning new craft techniques, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be the first one to know when I upload new content. And do your best to get those two pieces of craft stick to be flush at the top so you have a clean peak. Now you can go in on the inside and run a bead of glue to help secure the frame. Hold your frames in place until the glue sets up. Go ahead and continue to add your craft sticks on both sides all the way down until the top is completely finished. I got my top on. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with the piece. I did go in with some paper towel and clean out my glass, make sure I got rid of all my glue string. Now the last thing that I'm going to do here to the lantern is I want to do a little dry brushing where I have the white and I'm going to use this apple barrel khaki paint to do that. Now on the top I'm going to use this larger brush. This is my favorite one for doing dry brushing because it's kind of a ragged brush and a little bit of paint goes a long way. So I've already just put a little bit of paint here on my paper. 
Just get a little bit on there, dab off too much. And then just go back and forth lightly. You want to go in the same direction. Get that paint evenly distributed and then you can go back and forth and help blend it in. Now you can do as much or as little of this as you like. I'm going to continue to distress wherever I have painted it white. Once I get it to where I like it and it dries, I'll come back and then we will decorate. I have all of my dry brushing done. I'm really happy with the results. I think it looks much better and goes much better with the color of the frames. Now I wanted to share one of my secrets on how to get this to look really nice and blended. So my base is white. And then I dry brushed with khaki. And then if you get too much of the khaki on there, it's no big deal. You go back in with your white and you blend that in. So like right down here, just go over it a little bit with your white and it blends it right in and then it looks even better. So that is my little secret on how to make that look really antiqued and to blend in. If you get anything on these frames, just run your finger over it, it wipes right off. You see how much better that looks? Okay, so now that we've got our little lantern here all done, and now we get it decorated. I have these really pretty natural colored rocks that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this as my base. Okay, so I have my base in. I just filled in with the pretty colored rocks. I really like them. I think they complement the coloring of the lantern very well. Now you can go ahead and place in a real candle, but I would not light a real candle in this because the top is only craft sticks. But if you're not going to light it and you're just looking for decorative purposes, I think that's really pretty. Now if you want it to flicker, you can always use one of the artificial candles that Dollar Tree carries. These just run on batteries. They will fit in there nicely and then you have a nice little flicker. But I'm really pleased with how the lantern turned out. I like that it's very neutral. Now you can change this out for any holiday or season. You could take the candle out. You could do a little Christmas scene in here. You could put some um, fall florals. There's a lot of different things you can do with this lantern. You can keep it neutral. So as the seasons change and holidays change, you can update your lantern to keep it out all year long. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and leave me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. If you enjoy craft tutorials, make sure to check these others out. Thanks again. You have a great day and I will see you next time.